Folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the G.I. Joe Adventure Team Rikondo Terror of the Swamp action figure set. This set was released in 2007 and they found it at a Toys R Us for $19.99. This set follows the G.I. Joe Combat Squad and is one of the final uh, G.I. Joe sublines to feature the Sigma 6 styling uh, to the figures. And uh, if the adventure team sounds familiar, that's because uh, this is uh, based off of the uh, G.I. Joe adventure team from the 70s, uh, the original uh, adventure team. And uh, it's a, a subline that uh, moved away from the military theme and focused more on uh, action and adventure. Now, this is also an interesting set because in the uh, Sigma-6 styling, there, there are two individual uh, characters named Rikondo, and uh, this one here is uh, named Rikondo. But the uh, first uh, Rikondo uh, was a uh, part of the combat squad, and uh, it was a jungle-type expert, and uh, it was basically a remolded uh, tunnel rat figure uh, with a mix of other uh, figures. And uh, this uh, particular Rikondo is actually uh, closer to the uh, a real American hero uh, Rikondo from the 80s. And taking a look at the uh, figure in this uh, package here, which is uh, quite wide, uh, you can see uh, it has uh, quite a few accessories. And you can see uh, the Rikondo character here, and he does look s much uh, closer to the Rikondo uh, from the uh, A Real American Hero. Uh, much closer than the uh, first Rikondo. And you can see him uh, battling a gator here. And uh, you can see uh, some of the other accessories here. And it uh, looks like he is fighting in a swamp. Uh, it's got a nice uh, background in there. And uh, this set is also bordered uh, with those uh, end caps, those weapon cases. But because this is the adventure team, I, I don't know if you could pick it up. You can see a wood-like crate-like texture on here instead of uh, the military footlocker uh, type of end cap. So it's kind of neat. And if you look at one end here of the uh, crate, you can actually see the original adventure team logo from the 70s. It's kind of cool. And you can see some paneling here to simulate a crate. Taking a look here at the back of the package, you can see a nice uh, scene here of Rikondo tackling a, uh, a gator or a croc uh, in the outbacks of Australia. It's kind of neat. I like that uh, diorama scene. It's really, really cool. And here you can actually see a description of the Terror of the Swamp set on there. You can see uh, Rikondo's name there. And uh, here is a uh, mission supplies list, uh, basically contents of the set, on there. And a description of the uh, adventure team there. So let's go ahead and uh, take this uh, guy out of the package, and we'll be right back. Okay, we have Rikondo out of the package, and we'll go over the accessories first. First up, uh, we have here instruction sheet on how to put the crate together. It's, uh, fairly basic, uh, nothing on that side there. Next up, we have a visual checklist of all the items that uh, come with the figure on there. And on the other side, uh, how to use some of the accessories there. And next up, we have a very interesting item, uh, sort of a survival guide, and it's really cool because uh, it looks like Hasbro put a lot of effort into putting this together, and it's very, very nice. Uh, you can see uh, some of the previews of other sets. Uh, here we have the snake eyes with the tiger here. Uh, just, and it's uh, designed as a sort of a catalog here. And uh, you can see some of the uh, items that they're, quote, selling here for the adventure. And uh, they even have uh, this... Uh, Night Ranger Quad, which was actually released at one point. I actually do have uh, this uh, Night Ranger Quad vehicle set. It's pretty neat. 
And also you have some other personal accessories there. And it uh, looks like a uh, question and answer and uh, you can see Snake Eyes set with the Cobra in the desert there. And that's part of the Tiger set there. And you have these, uh, I guess, uh, a map of the world uh, and uh, these spots all represent uh, uh, figure sets from the Adventure Team. And it looks like they had planned two waves, at least two waves, uh, but they only released one wave before they canceled uh, Sigma-6 altogether. Yeah, three in the first wave and three in the second wave. And, uh, and then you have a uh, advertisement, pseudo-advertisement for uh, Colton's Place, uh, which was uh, from the original Adventure Team there. And if you actually take the time to read all of this, there's a lot of in-jokes in here, uh, all related to uh, G.I. Joe mythos there. It's very nice. And then you have some more accessories and a pseudo-advertisement uh, there. And uh, another pseudo-advertisement that may be familiar to uh, more of the 80's uh, Joe's fans. Uh, if these uh, brothers here are twin brothers uh, hawking a, uh, the uh, crate uh, in their company's Arbo Crate Company. And uh, if you're into anagrams you can easily figure what that stands for. <laughs> And in the background, you can see some familiar uh, henchmen there in the background. <laughs> and a gun under the table there. It's so very, very neat uh, on there. Arbo Crate Company. <laughs> and then you got an advertised, pseudo advertised, classified advertisement there. It's very uh, neat uh, catalog. I really like this. Now, on to the accessories here. Uh, first up, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, crocodile because it's very, very cool. And it's very neat that they included this. And you can see some of the details of this guy. It's very neat. Uh, his leg is here. It's kind of moved here. And you can see some of the texture detail of the scaly skin type uh, texture here. Very, very cool. And it's uh, fairly articulated. All the legs are on a swivel. So they go all the way around on each of the legs. The tail is articulated so you can actually swing that back and forth at multiple joints along the tail. So it's kind of neat. And uh, the head does uh, swing uh, back and forth slightly as well. And of course the jaw does open and close. Uh, you can actually keep it open here but Putting some pressure on the tongue will snap the jaw shut, which is really nice on here. Uh, to go with the croc, you have this uh, trap here to trap the croc's mouth open. And basically, you just open the croc's mouth there and place that like that. And you can simulate trapping the croc with his mouth open there. It's kind of neat. And uh, it also comes with a leash, a collar and a leash, so uh, when you uh, capture uh, the crocodile, you can just uh, wrap this around the uh, crocodile's neck, and it, it's uh, pretty difficult to put this completely around. Uh, you really have to work on it to get this uh, all the way around the crocodile's uh, neck there. And it does come with this uh, nice uh, metallic chain uh, with a handle here that Ricondo can uh, hold on to to pull the uh, croc along. Very neat. Now uh, some of the personal accessories that come with Ricondo. You have this knife on here. It's uh, pretty cool on there. And it has a peg on the knife uh, to put place on the figure. Uh, it comes with a machete here on there. It's kind of neat. And uh, no peg on this one here. Uh, but I do like the detail on the machete, especially over here. Uh, it does come uh, with a canteen of sorts. Uh, no place to put the canteen, no peg on this one here. And uh, it comes with this uh, tranquilizer type gun on here. Everything's sculpted uh, here. I like the sculpted detail. It's fairly neat on there. And uh, I guess to simulate a leaf pattern there. <laughs> it's very neat. Yeah, this uh, gun has no action gimmicks on there. It's just a sculpted piece of uh, plastic on there. Kind of cool. Uh, also, the Arbco crate here, 
which is basically like the weapons locker from the previous Sigma 6 line, but uh, textured to look like a wooden crate here, uh, sold by Arbco Cobra, <coughs> excuse me. And you got the uh, Adventure Team logo on there, it's kind of neat. And of course you got these uh, locks on here and you can place all your neat uh, weapons and stuff in there. Kind of cool. And that just snaps shut on there. Now uh, on to the uh, Ricondo figure. It's actually uh, really, really nice. I uh, really like it. Yeah, the, you can see some of the sculpting detail and it's of course uh, the typical Sigma, stick, uh, Sigma 6 styling on there, uh, the later Sigma 6 styling. Uh, you can see all of the sculpted clothing and not like the earlier Sigma 6 where they had cloth goods on there, but it's still uh, nicely detailed. You can see some of the details on the shirt here. He's got a harness he's wearing. Uh, a necklace sculpted into into the sh into the figure here, and uh, instead of a military dog tag, you have the uh, adventure team dog tag uh, with a crocodile on the other side. It's fairly neat, and of course you got the kung fu grip on one hand here. It's basically spring loaded there, and I really love the boots. It's very neat on there. The sculpt. Uh, I wish the, uh, the laces were colored uh, differently, but oh well, can't complain too much. He's got this belt thing going on across his leg. It's fairly, fairly cool, and uh, he's got a belt there. I wonder if that's made of crocodile skin. I don't know. Uh, instead of the bio thing that normally came with the earlier uh, Sigma Six figures, you just have a typical watch <laughs> on there. Yeah, pretty neat. And uh, his hat is removable here, so you can see uh, some of the details of Ricondo here. Uh, it's uh, very neat, uh, very stylized Sigma 6 styling, uh, uh, a sculpt on there, uh, really cool. But uh, going over the articulation of uh, Ricondo here, the head does go all the way around, uh, does go up and down, and even side to side. The arms go all the way around, they do go out and in on a slight ratchet. Uh, the elbows bend and they, they don't go all the way around because of the back of his elbow here but it does swivel up to a certain point. Uh, the arms are joined at the wrist with a looks like a ball hinge uh, swivel joint there so you can go up and down all the way around and uh, this hand is uh, got the kung fu grip uh, this hand is pre-molded there. The torso uh, he can go uh, up and down on the torso and the waist you can go all the way around. The legs are joined at the hip on a swing, uh, swivel hinge joint, so it can go up, down, to the back, up to the side. The knees uh, do bend and uh, go all the way around. No uh, swivel cut on the boot though. Would have been nice if they had that. And uh, the feet are on a uh, hinge swivel joint, so they go up and down and all the way around. So. Very nice uh, figure set. A lot of accessories. Really love the crocodile. That's really neat. Uh, and uh, I do like uh, the Ricondo sculpt, or the second uh, Ricondo sculpt. And it's very, very neat. Uh, but And uh, if you can find it, I do recommend it, uh, especially if you're a Sigma 6 fan and uh, like the styling on here, uh, like I do. So, But uh, this is my casual peek into the G.I. Joe Adventure Team uh, Ricondo Terror of the Swamp set. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.